My name's Natalie Fay, and I'm the founder of City to Sea. Initially, we started working on two sort of campaign areas. One was trying to get people to stop using plastic water bottles. So we developed our refill campaign and then we quite quickly developed an app and mapping shops and cafes on the app so that you don't have to rely on a water fountain. We've now got over 400 refill communities. It's in seven different countries. We've had over 350,000 people download the app. And then we also do a lot of lobbying and sort of, you know, pressure on the government to implement legislation and more bans. We managed to get supermarkets to stop making cotton buds out of plastic back in 2017. And so we really got a sense of, you know, oh yeah, we can actually make changes. We were looking at what other plastic are uh, flushed down our toilet. A pack of conventional period pads have the same amount of plastic in them as five carrier bags. So we wanted to raise awareness about the hidden plastic in period products, but also the alternatives that are available like reusable menstrual cups and washable period pads and washable period pants. And then that developed into an education programme called Rethink Periods, which is a free education programme for schools. A couple of years ago, we estimated that just through our refill app, we'd stopped over 100 million plastic bottles from being used. Um, in terms of like the cotton buds, that's pretty exciting because that's like 400 tonnes of non-recyclable single-use plastic every year that was just stopped. Um, so yeah, it's exciting when you know I, you look at it that way and you think of all the fossil fuels involved in that, all the energy, and of course how much that could have escaped into our um, into our ecosystems. She grabs a bag and fills it up A reusable bottle, a reusable cup Moving towards a more circular economy is something that we have to do, but doing it with fun and, you know, doing it together in that sort of sense of building a movement, I think, has been something I've been particularly proud of. I did a version of Making Whoopi about plastic pollution. And, and yeah, my partner and I do sort of, you know, just about environmental issues. We sang at COP26 and um, are starting to do a bit more of that. But it's good. It's good to bring a bit of joy and fun to, you know, what otherwise can be quite dark times. Some flaxy lube, a vegan condom, they start to sway. Ain't that the way to make a woo?